mean, it's a, it's, you're really excited to be asked to be in this. I mean, it's a great honor. The fact that it's not just, you know, within your, just your own country, but it's thinking about, I mean, it's an international competition. And so the fact that it's people from all over the world who are also part of this, it's, a, it's an honor. It's also a part, it's kind of validation for you as well. I make unfired ceramic work and so that's not necessarily typically what you consider as ceramic. And I think for a lot of artists to also be included in this um, Biennale too that are making unfired clay work, there's, there's something that comes with that as well that you feel like there's an acceptance or there's something that's some, or people who are interested in this work that challenges the ceramic medium. So the work that I make considers the temporality of uh, objects and uh, architecture and then the spaces that they exist within. A lot of my work considers this kind of space in between things. And so um, there's a kind of delicacy or, you know, a lot of people think of the work as this kind of delicate in nature or that it's ephemeral or that it's very fragile. And so what I'm trying to make within the work is that you kind of, you think about this moment in between. So this moment in between something being in one state or another state. And so this piece is called uh, Between Thresholds and it's a gate. And a gate is a space that's kind of between two spaces. And when you consider that kind of space in between, you know, that can be this space or this piece is also unfired, so it's temporal. And it thinks about the gate as not necessarily this place that is going to be permanent. It becomes vulnerable in its existence so that it's not necessarily something that will keep someone in or out anymore in just the, the state of the material itself. This piece is also about kind of a cycle of life as well. So, you know, this piece is being built right now, so it's kind of being born or it has this um, moment in time that it will exist and then at the end of the install or end of the exhibition it will be deinstalled and uh, it will kind of have a death at the same time and so the hope is is when I make pieces like this is that the material will be reused again and so there will there'll be kind of a new life that will be brought using this material because that's another reason why I've been working with unfired clay for a while is this whole idea that I could kind of at the end of an exhibition I could take it and remake it into something else, somewhere else, so. I bought, I've always, um, prior to making unfired work, I was making work that was fired, and so it was this kind of, per it was permanent in its nature, but it was really fragile, and it was, uh, it was really hard to move from place to place to place, and I was moving everything around, and. I had moved to this one city and I started, you know, thinking, well, why, why do I have to necessarily leave it, fi like, why does it have to be fired? What would be really interesting for me is that I could arrive at a place and I can make there directly on site. And so that was kind of the impetus on how starting to make in this way. I've also always made work that almost has a line quality to it, so that's a drawing-based element. And for a long time, you know, this whole idea of being in between, I felt like the gate or this kind of threshold was this way or this kind of motif or this theme or this um, object that I could depict that could be um, this space in between. And so it could be a space that we might think is permanent, but at the same time is not permanent at all. So. I mean, I like the fact that this is, this is just dirt. <laughs> you know, this came directly from the ground. We, people have been digging this material up for centuries. And for this kind of dirt to be made into something that's very delicate and that could eventually just go back into the ground as well, I mean, there's something really beautiful about that, that idea. Sure, I mean, I, I think most of all is just kind of spending time with the work for a while and really being aware of kind of the visceral quality of it. How do you interact with it? My hope is that people will be able to walk around it, they will walk behind it, they will see themselves behind the structure, they will see themselves in front of the structure, there will be this kind of notion of being on both sides of this piece and so kind of therefore enforcing that whole idea of being in between. But I also want you to be able to get right up close and to you really to see the qualities of the material itself. 
This material can go from being very smooth to being very rough um, to feeling almost like it's kind of falling apart at the same time. And so, you know, my hope is that you kind of understand like this moment in time. So if this work is going to be not be permanent at the same time is that you understand this moment of it being made and this moment of it being taken away. And so, you know, I hope that you kind of that you really spend a little bit of time with the work as well. And I think all work is a little bit like that. You see it and you take photos of it. I mean, we tend to kind of take photos of something really quickly. And we don't necessarily experience it right there in the moment. And, you know, I would hope that everybody would kind of take a moment, you know, take pictures, that's fine. But that you would kind of sit there with it for a little bit and really kind of uh, look at it a little bit closer. And then hopefully it'll stay with you for a while. I think that's, you know, an artist's dream is that the work that you make will somehow have a reaction within someone that they continue to think about it when they leave. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that I hope is that, you know, as I'm building it, I'm continuing to kind of put things on there and add information. And, and you know, as you sit there and look at it, that you also are adding some information. I mean, this piece, I think sometimes the most successful work is not so much the work where the artist has a complete, like, one straight idea of what it's going to mean for, um, for the viewer but that you will find something, you know, you've left kind of these little pockets or these openings for people to enter into your work. And, and I hope, I mean, that's what I hope that I've left for people is that there's is a moment where you can enter in that you kind of, um, you recognize or you can um, not necessarily see yourself in the work, but you can find some sort of entry point for yourself. Well, my work, uh, Recently, this is, this is a bit of an older body of work um, that I kind of am continuing to work on, but um, I've been working, I'm still working ephemerally with clay. I've been working a lot with dust uh, most recently, and so thinking about how dust can kind of hang in the air or can hang in, um, in balance. And then I'm also always looking for spaces that are unconventional, so you know, making work that's directly for a site. So thinking, you know, researching that site, thinking about that site in terms of how the work will integrate within that site or bring some sort of possibly highlight a part of that site is something that I'm really interested in doing. So I'm constantly kind of looking for things like that. And so I have a few shows that are in the works that start to consider those spaces a little bit more as well. So this, by, this Biennale is great for that, is you know, that I get this opportunity to come spend a month here <laughs> installing the work and then also visiting um, this country as well and kind of getting to know it. And uh, I think you know, the more that you invite others in, the more that others can kind of take you know, out and kind of introduce other people to it as well. So you know, I'm a professor and so one thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking images, I'm going to be taking ceramics that I might buy here, you know, I'm going to be taking things back and I'm going to be introducing it to a group of people that maybe had no idea, you know, or had never thought about it. And I think, um, you know, that doing that starts to, for lack of a better word, that starts to kind of bring attention to a place in particular. And so, you know, I'm all for kind of inviting more people in, into your space or into your, your country so they can open that up for others to enjoy as well and to also learn and experience. So, no, I think this biennial is great for that, is that it's helping, it's helping us um, see another culture too. Mm -hmm.